Hey everybody, my name's Josh. Today I'm gonna to get you up and running on Tilda's new super affordable, super tiny Nucleus Nano Follow Focus. Stay tuned. Before we dive in, if you'd like to jump ahead to exactly what you're looking for, check out the links below. Also, the team over at Tilda was gracious enough to send me this product to review, so full disclosure, I did not purchase this product myself. So right out of the box, you get the hand unit, a motor, a base plate with a 4 inch long 15 millimeter rod, a quick release mount, a clamp for the Zion crane, a USB micro to micro cable, two lens gear rings, extra hardware and allen keys, an instruction booklet, and a 14500 battery charger. First let's look at the hand unit. The hand unit takes one 14500 battery at 3.7 volts. These do look quite similar to 1.5 volt AA batteries, so just make sure not to confuse them. Make sure to install with the positive terminal facing outwards. To power up, press and hold the record button. To set the channel, double tap up or down. There are 10 channels to choose from. For a quick calibration of the motor, press and hold Cal and the motor will begin auto calibration. For manual calibration, double tap the Cal button. To access the menu, press and hold up and down at the same time. Press up or down to navigate through the menu. The item shown at the top is the one that's currently selected. Double tap to select or confirm a menu item. Here you can change the knob direction, turn vibration on or off, recalibrate the knob on the hand unit, factory restore, turn Bluetooth mode on or off, and access system information such as firmware version and serial number. To exit the menu, just wait 5 seconds and you'll be back at the main screen. To use the AB range feature, focus to your first mark, tap set, then travel to your second mark, and tap set again. To exit AB mode and return to normal operation, press set a third time. Double tapping set toggles between slave and master mode. Now let's look at the motor. Connect the USB cable to a power source and the motor will power up automatically. Double tap the up or down button to select your wireless channel. Press and hold up to get an info page with the serial number and the firmware version. And press and hold down to auto calibrate the motor. Let's get started with a quick setup. First connect your motor to your camera. You can use an existing 15mm rod setup, or use the supplied base plate adapter. Power up your motor by attaching the USB cable. If you don't have a USB output on your setup, I found attaching a small USB battery bank was an easy solution. Now set your wireless channel. Power up your hand unit with a battery and press REC to turn it on. Select the same wireless channel that was set on your motor. Press and hold CAL and the motor will automatically calibrate to the range of your lens. To manually calibrate the Nucleus Nano with a lens that has no hard stops, install one of the supplied lens gear rings to your lens and set your lens at infinity. Connect your motor to your camera, but keep the teeth of the motor disengaged from your lens. Now power up your hand unit and press REC to turn it on. Select the same wireless channel that you set on your motor. Once you see that you have a connection, bring your hand unit knob to infinity. And now engage the motor with the lens gear. Press CAL twice and the display should read HCA. Very slowly, begin to rotate the hand unit towards minimum, being careful not to go over. Once you're at minimum, double tap CAL one more time and your lens should now be mapped. Okay, here's the surprise feature I was probably most excited about. Both the Nucleus Nano hand unit and motor are completely compatible with the Nucleus M system. This means you can use any M controller to control your Nano motor, or you can use the Nano controller to control any M motor. 
This functionality opens up so many great possibilities, like using your Nano Hand Unit as a dedicated iris control, or pair it with an M motor and you've got a great single channel high torque setup. To use the Nano Controller with a Nucleus M motor, install and power up your Nucleus M motor, and set the motor number to 1. Set the channel to any channel between 0 and 9. Now power up your Nano Controller and set your channel to the same channel as your M motor. You'll now be connected. To use any Nucleus M controller with the Nano Motor, install and power up your Nano Motor, and set the motor channel. Now power up your hand unit or handle. Set the motor number for your desired control to 1, and set your channel to the same channel as you set on the motor. You'll now be connected. Power up and double tap set on the Nano hand unit to swap between the Nano and the Nucleus M controllers. So a couple final thoughts. I found when you first connect the Nano, it takes a second for it to connect properly. But after a few turns of the wheel, it smooths out and it actually holds its connection surprisingly well. While the responsiveness of this unit is actually pretty quick, the maximum speed is limited because of the torque of the 5 volt motor, which is to be expected for something in this price range, but it's just something to be aware of. If your lenses are particularly stiff, I'd recommend grabbing the Nano and an extra motor from the M system and you'll be totally covered. Currently almost all the buttons on the controller have to be pressed and held or double pressed to engage their function, which I think is really smart. This prevents accidentally bumping them on set. Right now the exception to this is the set button. If you tapped it once accidentally, you probably wouldn't notice. But if you accidentally tap it a second time, you'll engage an arbitrary AB range, which is not something you'd want. I'd love to see this change with a future update. My Nano didn't come with any start-stop cables. But there is a small port on the nano motor which seems to be a 2.5mm LANK output. So there may already be LANK support, and we'll probably see cables from Tilta to connect to other cameras in the future. Currently, turning on Bluetooth mode in the menu does not show Bluetooth device on my phone or my computer, but this hints that there may be functionality here in the future. When installing the Nucleus Nano on a Rodin S, there are a couple ways you can do this, but there are a few issues to note. If you're screened straight into the M4 hole on the Ronin, be careful to cover the pins on the Ronin S. Call me paranoid, but the anodized coating may not be the perfect insulator, and it's best not to risk shorting out any power pins on your new Ronin. If you'd like to install the Nano onto an accessory plate, here's the issue. The Nano ships with one M4 screw that fits onto the Ronin directly, and another screw that appears to be quarter inch 20, but it's not. It's just another metric screw at a larger size. This means that you wouldn't be able to screw this directly into a standard cheese plate. I couldn't find a spare quarter 20 screw that would give me enough clearance for the quick release to work. So I ended up modifying one of the airy locking pinholes on my third party accessory plate to accept an M4 thread. This way I don't have to keep removing my accessory plate just to mount the Nano. The real solution to this would be for Tilted to supply proper quarter 20 screws, which might be the case by the time this product ships, but just check for this in your kit when you get it. So that's all for this video. I hope this has helped you get a little more familiar with the Nucleus Nano. Thanks so much and happy shooting.